guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I am sharing my haul from the Zapes Under the Big Top sampler. So I did already go ahead and open all of these. So these are not my initial first reaction, like cold sniff impressions. These are going to be my second cold sniff impressions. But either way, I was just really excited about this and I wanted to share it with you guys. So before I jump in, I did want to mention that she gave a business card and a sample. So I'm very grateful for the sample. And as I always do with all of my hauls, I will leave the information of how to shop Zape down below. And another thing is I am a part of like their rewards points system um, and their referral system. It's called Bubbles, I believe. So if you guys want to get $5 off, I will leave that down below. And then I get $5 off and you get $5 off if you place an order. So it kind of helps a little bit. Um, and it's not anything that's like exclusive to anyone. You guys can also sign up to be a part of that. So when you refer other people, you can also do the same thing. So it's literally open to everyone, but I just wanted to give that option down below if you want to save $5 if you do place an order. I'm not entirely sure if she has this, this sampler like available still. Um, but I know that her summer collection is going to be probably, she's going to probably post a list sometime soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but that's going to be the next launch, I believe. And I'm super excited about that because she's been like teasing some of the scents. So anyway, um, I will list that all down below for you guys. And the sampler here is in Pink Punch. Not entirely sure what the scent notes are on this. And this I'm guessing is going to be a part of that summer collection. So, um, it smells to me, it's a little white heart. It smells to me like maybe there's like a lemonade. It smells like a pink lemonade, maybe in like a pink sugar. I could be really wrong, but that's kind of what it smells like. It's a very bright, fresh, I think it's a lemonaded pink sugar blend right here. Pink punch, that's my guess. Um, but it smells really nice. So let's dive into the actual sampler itself. And it did all come packaged in this cool little star shaped bag and I will share all of it. Um, let me open it up so it's not so crinkly for you guys. It looks like all of these are kind of colored in layered colors that kind of match the actual scent name. So that's really cool too. And each of these, I'm not gonna do a close up of each of these, but they look like they each have um, the same label with just different, of course, names and scent notes. All right, so we are going to start with this first one. This is Root Beer Float, which is notes of bubbly homemade root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. So this one is, of course, like you would imagine, white on the top and like a root beer brown on the bottom with some kind of sparkly white-ish glitter. And this one does smell just like a root beer float, but specifically to me, if you guys have ever had the root beer barrel candies, that is what this smells like to me. I wouldn't say it's like super rich and creamy, but I would say it's like that very realistic root beer candy type scent. That's what this smells like to me, which I love those. So that is root beer float. This one here is churros and churros is warm churros, caramel dip and chocolate drizzle. So this one is all the same color throughout with some brown and like silver, maybe like goldish brown and silver glitter on the top. And this one is a very, very cinnamon forward, spicy churro scent to my nose. Did I say chocolate? Cause I'm not, I'm not really getting chocolate. I'm just getting like a very bakery heavy churro scent. I mean, it is very, very cinnamon, very bakery, very strong. This one is very strong. <clears throat> Worm churros, caramel dip, and chocolate drizzle. I don't get a whole lot of caramel or chocolate in this. I just get a very bakery, heavy, strong, slightly cinnamony type churro scent. So it does smell exactly like a churro. So that is what that one is. Uh oh, this one just popped off. So this one here, we'll do this one next. This is snow cone. So snow cone is sweet cherry, blue cotton candy, and sugary taffy. And this one is red, white, and blue layered with some silver glitter on the top. Ooh, this one, I feel like when I smelled this the other day, I wasn't like all about it, but I think I am totally vibing with it much more today for some reason. Maybe I'm in a fruity scent mood. My mood changes, or my scent preference changes with my mood. This one smells, maybe like it is layered. It does smell more cherry forward on the bottom. It might not be, I might be losing my mind, but this one smells like a very split, 
like cherry, like cotton candy cherry type scent. I really like this. Was it cotton candy or blue taffy? Blue cotton candy. I, I get that. Oh, and taffy. To me, this one smells like if you mixed like a cherry snow cone and cotton candy and you're eating them at like the same time, like a blue cotton candy and a cherry snow cone, it kind of smells like that to me, which I really quite like. So this one is a uh, snow cone. So that one, I feel like I didn't love it as much when I smelled it when I got this, but now I'm like loving that one more. So this one is cherry, lem cherry lemonade slushy, and this is tart lemonade and cherry slushy. So this one is cherry red on the top and a yellow lemonade on the bottom or yellow lemonade color. I don't, I'm not sure if this is actually layered, but this has some pretty glitter on it as well. Ooh, this is a very, 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 very bright lemonade. It is tart, but it's sweet. And I think that the extra sweetness is maybe coming from that cherry. This one is really nice. Um, very summertime appropriate and bright and very lemonade, zingy, poppy, something I would definitely want to chug. This one is cotton candy, and this is freshly spun strawberry vanilla cotton candy. So I believe that this is a scent that she has already had out and I have some of, and it is. This one is blue and pink cotton candy colors, and this scent is, um, to my nose, it smells like the Body Fantasies um, cotton candy spray that used to be around in like the 90s. Um, this one definitely smells just like that. But if you want like a very bright, realistic cotton candy scent, then this one is awesome. So love that, happy to have more. We have County Fair, and County Fair is funnel cake, kettle corn, and caramel apples. So I feel like I'm getting glitter on my nose. This is um, white or red layered between, between white here. And this one's got some blue and gold glitter on it. So I'm popping this one out. And this one I do have, um, I forgot that I had this one. Yeah, this one is like a very classic circus concessions, like Bath and Body Works kind of summer boardwalk type vibe scent. So if you like summer boardwalk from Bath and Body Works, then this one is like a similar type vibe scent. Um, yeah, very strong on the apple. Definitely an apple heavy type scent, but this one is amazing. So um, I had this one and I love this one. So happy to have more of that. Totally forgot I already had that. I don't think I have any of the rest. So this next one is Circus Peanuts. And this one really caught my attention. It is fluffy marshmallow and sweet bananas. And this one is like a Circus Peanut orange type color all the way through, which is super fun. So Circus Peanut scents kind of remind me of my grandpa. I was just thinking. Um, that he used to eat those all the time, which I'm not sure if you guys know, but those are like the kind of like spongy, I mean, they're in the shape of peanuts and they're like this color orange and they're almost like the spongy kind of texture. They're very strange and I don't love eating them, but he used to eat them a lot. So they remind me of him. And this is, I have tried some circus peanut type scents before and they've been close, but this one smells like the closest to me. It really smells like actual circus peanuts. And I guess I never realized this when I was younger and he would eat them and I would try to eat them, but I guess it is a banana scent. I never really knew what the scent was, but it is definitely like a banana scent because this totally takes me back to like smelling those, the bag of circus peanuts. So this one is very interesting. I hope that she brings this one out in the summertime because I think this one is really, really good. This one, okay. <laughs> I remember when I smelled this when I first opened the package, I was all about this. So this is popcorn balls. So it is scent notes of salted caramel popcorn and sticky marshmallow. So growing up, one of my neighbors right next door, she would always make popcorn balls for Halloween to give to the trick or treaters. Like she would give candy, but also she would make homemade popcorn balls. And this literally, smells just like that. Like this one is like crazy with how like the last one gave me like scent memories. This one is giving me scent memories like big time. This one is white all the way through with like a kind of caramely drizzle color on top. And this one literally, I, I also really hope she brings this one back and like a larger quantity. This one literally smells just like the popcorn balls. It is that like warm, popcorn like the 
not buttery popcorn because that's a whole other lane but this one is like that warm freshly popped no butter added maybe just a little bit of salt sprinkled on top mixed with like a sweetened marshmallow scent it it freaks me out with like how realistic this smells this one is amazing i am maybe most excited for this one so this one is popcorn balls she totally nailed it with this it smells just like popcorn balls so really excited about that we have a banana split and this one is sweet banana fluffy whipped cream and chocolate drizzle which of course this one is banana split kind of colored it's yellow brown and white with some red glitter on top and this one is like a very to my nose chocolatey it's bananas first but then you do get a lot of that chocolate in here and this one also is kind of giving me a scent memory as well. Um, this is going to be weird. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, this will be crazy. But um, do you guys remember back when the Rugrats movie came out? And it was like the one where they're like all in the jungle together. Or I don't even remember what movie that was. But they had, they released like these scratch and sniff, like Rugrat themed I think it was stickers maybe or something like that. Anyway, they had one that was bananas, like a banana scented one. It smells like this. It literally smells like, maybe it was like a banana split scent, but it literally smells just like this, which this is also giving me some nostalgia here. This whole sampler is like sending me back in time. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Um, because it's giving me a lot of scent memory. So this is an awesome <laughs> sampler for me. Um, it does smell just like that scent of you guys at all know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, it smells like a classic banana split scent, something that you would, I mean, I, I can't say it's like super authentic and like, oh yes, it smells like a real banana split, but it smells like what you would expect, like a banana split, like perfume maybe to smell like, not perfume, but like a, like a, I don't know. It smells like a banana split. Like it's a little bit artificially, but like in a good way for me. So I don't know. I really like this. This is very interesting. I would be curious to melt this and maybe it'll totally transform because that could happen. Um, but for now, it's making me happy either way. So I love that. Okay, last one we have. This is Carnival Corn. And Carnival Corn is freshly buttered popcorn and fruity cereal bits. So this one, I'm not sure I want to take out because it's got a ton of, well, you know what? This one has some sprinkles on top. So the sprinkles are kind of falling out. But um it is white all the way through. So let me pop this one out, actually. And it's okay if I make a mess. It's my house. All right. So this one is interesting. Because on the top, to me, it just smells like a fruity pebble type scent or like a Fruit Loop type cereal scent on the top. But then on the bottom, you do get a lot of that very, very buttery popcorn. You can smell the butter in this one rather than in the popcorn balls. There's no butter I can really detect. This one is a buttery, rich like hot, like popcorn that you get when you go to a movie. This one reminds me of that mixed with some cereal scents. Um, it's interesting because usually cereal blends take over whatever else it's kind of blended with, or at least it seems like it happens a lot with the things that I've tried that have fruity pebbles or like, what is this? Fruity cereal bits. So Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebble scents, a very lemon heavy fruit kind of based cereal scents. Usually it seems like those take over anything, but in this, I can absolutely smell that buttered popcorn very strong on the bottom. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're all having an awesome day. Take care. Bye.